Uh, today I'm gonna be doing my third racking, which is my final racking for my uh, homebrew red wine. And today my final step would be filtering the wine and to my uh, carboys and I will bottle part of them after. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see, I already sanitized all my uh, hoses and my filter cartridge and I rinse it with water. So, so now I'm gonna start. But the first little while, I'm gonna be water coming out from the filter. So as you can see, I just uh, this wrecking can with the pre-filter over here for that part and another wrecking can for this side so this hopefully will prevent the uh, air bubble so let's do it Okay, so also there's a little bit of air gap over here. I'm gonna try. All right, I think I'm having a red wine coming through now. So this one's gonna be discarded. So put it in here. So with this wrecking cane, I'll try to get the uh, the wine down to the bottom, so create less bubble. So with this, so I try to press on this button. Take over here to uh, to reduce the air inside the. Yes, you can see not too much bubbles inside the bottle now. So thanks for you guys suggesting there. By the way, this is a uh, 30 micron filter and this is a 0.5 micron filter. I should have used a, a 0.5 micron on this one, but I just have the old stock.
Overflow. Good, good, good. Still going? No. All right, guys. So as you can see, my first bottle is done. It takes about, I don't know, five minutes. So I'll just leave a little gap there. Then I'm gonna go to the next bottle. You see, I just put the dates on here. Just for reference, today is December 5th. So it's just finished my first demo John. And you can see the pump trying to push as much fluid or as much wine out of this canister as possible. We'll go to the next one. So I'm getting a little bubble, air bubble now. So I'm gonna stop it here for, there for now. But you see, there's not much wine left inside these two canister after this damage on is empty so as you can see I have a partial carboy a filter red wine there so I'm gonna bottle that one right away after I'm done filtering so I would be doing the same thing for the next uh, damage on so let's hook up set up to the next uh, set of carboys Okay, as you can see, I keep uh, two separate uh, set of carboys because I have two, two batches of uh, slightly different in uh, specific gravity. So the wine kind of tests different for the first bottle and the second bottle. So now let's try the second bottle now.
bubble, air bubbles in the beginning when it first started, but other than that, it's okay. The bubble is going to go away. And then use these uh, pressure release buttons to uh, release some of the air, so that helps. See there, there's not much sediment at the bottom of this uh, lemon John because this is my third racking already. So my third racking is done now, my filtration is done. As you can see, there's that much wine left over in this one, and this much in this canister. I gotta stop it because the air bubbles start to come through now, so. Oh. Just leave it there. Okay guys, that's it, so. The wrecking cane all the way to the bottom of the bottle that will help to reduce the air bubble and using these pressure air relief button pressure relief button to relieve some of the air at the uh, beginning of the uh, process that helps too thanks again for you guys uh, suggestion and I think uh, yeah uh, getting less air bubble except this one at the end <laughs> too much air bubble but getting less air bubble than uh, the previous year all right that's it for today thanks for watching now i'm gonna be bottling these uh, two carboys so that will be uh, in my next video stay tuned for that thanks again for watching guys bye for now